Hey guys and gals, welcome to another edition of ATV Repower, and I'm going to be your host, the Homestead Prepper. Uh, some of you probably are looking at that and figured out that I'm going to use um, hydraulics to drive this ATV, or a hydrostatics, more, uh, more appropriately named. Uh, that is a hydraulic motor right there, the, uh, and that is a shaft, and I've got that into the uh, U-joint that goes to the shaft-driven differential on this thing. So the question is, is how do we mount that? That's a spline shaft, that's a one inch keyed shaft, and uh, that's what I've got to work out right there. Um, why am I going hydrostatic? Well, what I like about hydrostatic is it's going to give me forward and reverse. Uh, it's also going to give me, you know, I can go real slow or I can speed it up and go fast. And uh, guys, before you all get too excited about this project right here, I, I've got to be up front with you. and. I'm making all this up as I go. So anyway, uh, I'm just going to take you guys along with this and I'm going to show you how I'm going to try and overcome these problems. And I've still got a long way to go and you know mounting this right here, I'm, I don't even know if there's going to be room to mount an engine up here. I may have to mount the engine uh, in the back over here, which which would be fine, I can do that. But we got, I've got to take it one step at a time and I just need to dive in and start somewhere so I'm going to start right here. Okay, this uh, this is actually a U joint and another shaft I purchased off of e eBay for that uh, for that ATV right there. But fortunately, this just slides right into the U joint, so that's a spline shaft. Now this has got a spline on it right here, and this does not exactly fit in there. I've thought about drilling that out and putting a key in it, but I think it's going to make it too thin. And then the key is going to actually stick out here. I'd have to weld another coupling on it and all that. Uh, another idea I've had is to put this in here, like that, cut it, and I've measured this. This is 5 8 and I can put this on here, and then to get to this, I can put this on here like that. That's that's for one inch. They uh, I did not see a one inch to 5 8 adapter, and I didn't see a splined adapter from this. To one inch so I'm gonna to have to put these together and I guess uh, try and square it up as best I can and weld it uh, it's gonna make it stick out really far in there so I may uh, I may cut this down I don't know I don't know I want it to stay square so well let's uh, let's start doing some let's just start doing something even if it's wrong I just uh, cut that coupling in half and the reason I did that is because I'm only going to be able to get so much of it on here and there's going to have to be a mounting plate if you see those four little holes right there so that's going to bring it out a little bit and if I make this thing long like this and then put that on there the longer it is the more stress is going to be on that joint that I weld so the shorter the better and the shorter the shaft the better so that's what I'm doing so all right, I need to cut this all right, I've taken my caliper and I've measured over here as close to where it starts to taper out. And this one, I want the full length here. I mean, if this shaft had been longer, then I would have uh, not done that. But the way it is, you're only going to get one screw in it because it's short. So this one, I want to get as much meat on it as I can. So I guess we'll pop it right, right there. We got that cut off. This uh, fits in here. Well, it did come out here just a second ago. There we go. This fits in here pretty nicely. I uh, only thing I need to do is that's uh, three sixteenths. I need to cut a shaft key in this. I just happen to have some three sixteenths shaft on hand, and let me uh, let me get that done, and we can we can put this thing together. And I still need to weld it this thing over here like that all right let's get that let's get that key cut in there all right put this on here I should C clamp this on here oh 
don't know if you can see that on camera but that is going to be my starting line and I just need to go down just a very small ways you can see that this if you can see this or not yeah, there we go you see how that fits in there it just needs to go ooh I don't know there's probably not even an eighth of an inch into this don't want to go down too deep we don't want to go down too shallow we want it to fit in there nice and snug all right well let's get that cut out all right I got this key shaft on here this fits in here and that slides on there like that so we just need to tighten it up actually I need to weld that first to that other coupling so let's uh, let's get that done all right guys I'm doing a little preheat on this stuff this stuff's a little bit thick and I want a little insurance that we don't get a cold weld here there's going to be a lot of torque running right through through that little piece so I, you can see where I've tack welded it and I've ground that out a little bit with the, the grinder and I'm just going to give this a little bit of preheat and then I'm going to take my uh, MIG welder and we're gonna we're gonna weld this thing up. All right, let me show you what I'm doing. Well, I guess it's not the best looking weld in the world, but I think it's gonna hold. And we have uh, accomplished our mission. A bunch of splatter, so I could clean that up with some sandpaper. But uh, this, this is on here. I just need to put the Allens in there. I, um, I'm not going to put this one on here just yet because I need to make a mounting plate. I need somehow to figure out how to mount that in there and keep it from flopping around. Uh, also guys uh, I'm going to need to order some parts and it's going to be a while probably for my next uh, video on this so just uh, just an FYI okay well there it is I mean I don't have it pushed all the way on but um, just a mock-up I uh, need to figure out some way to mount that in there and I'm gonna kinda I guess screw myself on room for the engine but like I said before I'm thinking about putting the engine back here and I think that's going to give me some counterweight too plus um, I can put the filter and I can put some other stuff up there too so okay all right homestead prepper out